Hi, Sarah here from OneTech.com. Today we're reviewing the Samsung Exhibit 2. This phone has 4G capability, which I'm really excited about, so you can download your videos at full 4G speeds. It's an Android 2.3 candy bar style phone. It has a processor that's a single core 1 gigahertz Qualcomm CPU processor. It has 4 gigabytes of built-in memory, which is a lot. And then you can stick in an extra 32 gigabytes in the little micro SD slot that it has. Unfortunately, this card is not included. Now this one is not really heavy, it weighs about 4.1 ounces. Feels pretty light, jogged with it today, it was in my pocket, didn't feel good at all. Um, the display is huge, it's 3.7 inches and that's really important for other reasons I'll tell you about later. It has a really good resolution, it's 480 by 800 pixels. The touch screen is capacitive, it's multi-touch, so you can zoom in on your books and pictures, um, depending on how bad your vision is. The, of course it has a proximity sensor, the unlocking mechanism gets stuck sometime, which I'll show you right now. The keyboard is pretty good, it rarely gets stuck, you know how sometimes you're trying to type a certain letter and another letter that's next to it pops up, it rarely does that. It's pretty good about guessing which letter you're trying to touch, even if you have big fingers. The battery life is about 5.5 hours or 360 hours of standby uh, battery life. It has a pretty good 3 megapixel camera in the back. And I took some pictures today on my hike, I'll put them on the website so you guys can check them out. It has an LED flash. The front camera is VGA for your video chatting. And by the way, the software is pre-installed for that. It has all the standard Android internet browser. And some of my favorite apps that I've been playing with um, include uh, we can sync, it can sync your pictures with your computer and it has a uh, feature for that that will do it for free. It has T-Mobile TV. It has this thing called Lookout, which probably Scarlett Johansson could have used. So all of my pictures are not going to get hacked. It backs up your files. And it has something that if your phone is getting kidnapped or you're about to lose it, it will actually scream. You can send a signal to it. Even if the sound is turned off, you can make it scream out to you for help. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it has Slacker Radio, which I love, so when I'm working out at the gym, I can listen to radio. And then you can muck around and say I want to use a stopwatch while I'm working out. It'll keep the radio going while I'm using the stopwatch. It has uh, pre-downloaded Yelp and YouTube, of course. It has Wi-Fi capability, so if you want to download stuff, you can use the 4G connection or Wi-Fi to download your stuff and watch your videos. It has a tele-navigation system, so for your uh, GPS when you need that. It has audio alerts to sh uh, tell you when there's a traffic camera coming. I thought that was pretty cool. And it also reroutes you when there's traffic ahead. It has Google Maps as well. Now the 4G data depends on what plan you choose, so go ahead and check out tmobile.com for all of their options. You can also use an app on here called Wi-Fi Calling, so you can use your Wi-Fi connection to make calls. I know that's a lot of stuff. If you guys have any more questions for me, just put them on wantech.com and I'll try to answer them for you questions about the phone, of course, um, and we'll be back next time on wantech.com with the next phone. Bye, y'all.